Today we are at uh, Calusco Dada at uh, Dr. Swan's office. Dr. Swan uh, treated uh, his first two cases using a uh, Navident, the dynamic navigation system, using uh, and applying first the Navistent uh, manufacturing and uh, applying on the second case trace and place protocol. What's your overall impression, doctor? Okay. Um... Being a, a, for me a completely new product, uh, not knowing it uh, until yesterday afternoon, I must say that the software is beautiful, uh, very easy to use, and, uh, and with good uh, imaginations on the on the screen. Um, the first case treated with uh, with the stand has the advantage of having uh, stable and fixed uh, reference points. So um, my uh, first surgery with that system. Uh, gave me the impression that it was very, very precise, uh, which was confirmed when I uh, raised the flap to uh, check positions and um, I noticed that we centered perfectly the um, mandibular bone. The uh, trace and place system has another uh, advantage uh, because there is no stand in the mouth, so you have a free uh, vision of the uh, surgical uh, field. Um, Essentially, uh, that's it. So there's more liberty of uh, view, and if one decides to make uh, minor corrections uh, as regard to the the planned uh, surgery, uh, one is free to do that. So um, also, that is very nice. I think uh, that both uh, systems have different indications, and uh, for sure, uh, it is uh, a system that is for expert surgeons and uh, that people need to invest some time and energy uh, to, um, to go through the, through the learning curve. So what's your overall uh, uh, idea on uh, the dynamic guided surgery per se? I think uh, that dynamic uh, guided is uh, absolutely the, the future. Uh, we need to invest some time and invest some, some energy and explore uh, the field, but uh, I, I think there's uh, a lot of promises in, in this field. Okay, thanks a lot and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.